Hi guys, it's V here from VTO Gaming. I'm here with Tommy Guns, and we're taking a look at Dead Rising 3 on the Xbox One. Look at the fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Spiffy. <laughs> Spent a fair amount of time just exploring this game, seeing what it's got to offer, comparing it to the previous titles. Um, as you can see, you've just been a sheer amount, you know, and it's... Absolutely bedlam. I'm well impressed with it, to be honest. Removing the limitations of the constant Zombrex timer has far improved the gameplay. Now there is still a timer in the story mode. Don't know if there's other options where you can just come in and free roam it. But the timers have been slowed down to the point where there's no sense of urgency. You can get to these things when you get to them. I love him for lots of this. Well, to be honest, I mean, you, you do get really sidetracked, and we have nearly missed two or three side missions because of it, but yep. it's just, it never gets old, you know, doing this. And, you know, there you go, have that. You can spend my tribute points. We'll get some space first before we worry about that. It's just a sheer amount going on and screen look. It's that is a good technical demonstration of what the next generation consoles can offer. It's a game I never played much of the second game so I don't really know it's been improved but I'm enjoying this one. Yep. Plenty of collectibles. As you can tell by our weapons, there's plenty of combo weapons, which were one of the key aspects of the previous titles. Much better inventory management system. Probably do a proper playthrough once we've spent some more time in it. One of the things we were considering was using this for the live streams. Just see seems to lend itself more to live streaming than it does to set video times because you can easily be sidetracked and never get to the point of your video. Yeah, yeah very easily, to be honest. Right now we have a mission to do but we are going to make our way Got a safe house to clear. that green icon just to clear one of the safe houses and if we find any survivors on the way we can drop them off there. It's really kind of Saints Row. Yep. Saints Row with zombies. I don't know if this is a glitch or maybe outfits only last so long. Maybe the outfits offer buffs, maybe? Some sort of. Some of them can do, but if you get the full outfit. But it seems like our clothes seem to expire after a set period of time or if we're entering a zone where there would be a psycho or a set piece with CGI. Although we have had CGI with our custom outfits. We had a nice scene while we were exploring the graveyard where we had an afro and pyjama bottoms on. And then there was a hazmat suit and the... Uh, ladies pyjamas. Was oh. it the... I'm having Bill trouble getting off here. Watch. It won't let me off. Oh well. So we're going to get blown up because it won't let me off the bike. That's the first death. 29 le 23 first. levels and that's the first death. Yeah, I will. <laughs> haven't noticed a great many bugs, but there have been a few. No, that's the first one I've really... There's a pretty good tutorial system. It explains most of the mechanics that have changed in the game and how the new crafting system works. But one of the things we have found real difficulty with is how to access the special attacks on some of the crafted weapons. We have a jack in the box, which we can throw or use as a melee weapon, nah, it but we can't actually use as a jack in the box. So we don't know what it does. They've now included combo vehicles, so you'll take a standard van or a firework steamroller and you'll turn it into something like this. 
you can go back to your garage at any time and respawn these. There is a limit to the amount you can respawn, but it's just a time limit. Yeah, it's just a time limit. And have some fun. I mean, it really, it really, it really doesn't get old. Nope. Doing this, it's, it's incredible what they've done. It's so simple, but it's so much fun. Right, so we'll mark ourselves back to the safe house and try this again. All the other icons you can see in the map are collectibles, but it is one of the. You know, it's quite difficult to find some of them. It doesn't explain whether you're not far enough along in the story or. So you find yourself going round about and round in circles and climbing roofs and that can be frustrating, yep. to be honest. But most buildings I know, I mean you can enter. It's Oh here we go, something like new. Thing, we go. So we might get to see the crafting system. Oh there are an RPG. Here we go. So we have to make a big bomb. A big bomb is an RPG and appropriate time. So as with all the crafts that we've found so far. The first time you get to do them, the item should be lying right next to you. You just bring up the inventory, press A, press A again, job done. That's what it could be. Yeah, Cause I'll a bit of devastation. I'll find a decent. Oh, I'm going to need to pick it back up. Come on. No, nope, it's not going to let us up on the truck. So, what we'll do is we'll run back a bit. What happens next? You need to shoot it. Oh, no, nope, there we go. Well, you just destroyed your car. That's okay. Robo Bear. Let's see if we can find an LMG. I like the flare gun mechanic as well. Yeah, the there's a few, the, a few lures, but the flare gun seems to work the best. Okay, so we need to find our way next door to clear off or Normally they're on roofs. Yep. Yeah. It's just a matter of finding your way up. There we go, there that's we go. a symbol for it there. The safe house is. So the safe house is up here somewhere. There we go. That'll let us up. No. Up, yep, there we go. And again, that's probably my favourite weapon in the game so far. GDXP stats we are killed. be quite difficult sometimes to keep it going, even though there's screens full of zombies, it tends to put enough distance between you and the next one. Keeps you moving I suppose. Yep. Anybody left? No, one or two, three or four. And there we go, we just lost our combo. It's like a city centre from the morning. Yep. Right, so what's this? Leadership losers. Let's see what this does. Increased damage inflicted by survivors. Nah. Nah. We'll go back to our durability. One blade. So have we cleared this? We haven't no. really saved many survivors. I think we'll save one. We managed to keep one alive all the way back to the safe house. And I think it's the first one that teaches you how to work the mechanic. But we got a guy back to the safe house, but he decided to get eaten. Yeah, he couldn't climb the ladder, so he died at the base of it while we watched him. So they're a bit... Even that, the AI and them are quite good as well. If you give them one of your weapons to use, they can hold their own, for the most part. And you can always top up their food and heal them. Right, so our next challenge would be to get over the highway and... To push the story on. Yep. I'm not really, really too bothered about collecting all the collectibles this playthrough, but plenty of things to do that way up. It's one of the things that gives the game lots of repair playability.
Alright, so we've seen a sports car around here somewhere. Yeah, we'll cool. take that for a ride. I mean, look, it's just. Oh. <laughs> you can't help it, can you? You need to go out and. Yep. Dad's a bit like a fairy. Very quick way to level up this. We'll explore the skill points when we get a bit of space. Yep, there's a fresh car right there. Hey, you think you throw that in a half? It's the best way. Straight but through. That is a, a bugbear I've got it with navigation in the very. Clear, now. Clear. Where they're supposed to go, I mean, you find yourself. Doing this? Because it was a dead end that we couldn't have made it across. There was possibly a ramp there, but. There was too much on screen to actually indicate that that was I mean, where we were trying to go. I, it really does. I'm, I know all the amount of things. I don't think I've seen probably the same zombie, apart from the firemen and the, the police. But yeah. even then, you can tell the models are slightly Aye. different. Double check on the right road here, it's quite, it's going to be quite confusing. Yep. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we have a teddy bear and a sword. I'm sure this will do enough. <laughs> Can I also check these wood containers? Handgun will never go amiss. Was that fireworks? Oh, something else. Firecrackers. No, we don't want that. This is one thing we have trouble with selecting the right loot on the ground. Uh, you'll find yourself cycling through your loot while zombies are attacking you. There we go. Uh, I should have a wee cutscene coming up here. Yeah. Right, so what does this one do? The zombie raker. We need katana sword and a leaf rake. Is oh, there a leaf rake? There's yeah. one right there. Combo. Let's see what that's this. Nice. Get a quick kill first. So the big claw at the end of the dragon. Is that the, you tied the heavy attack yeah. This is the heavy attack coming in there. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with that, to be honest. Nope. It's a bit slow, leaves you exposed after you swung. And the hit detection ain't great. I wonder why we're running about with a big teddy bear. If you find an LMG, you can make a good trap with it. Okay, so now we have a fetch quest. Something you'll get used to. Go get me one of these, go get me one of those. Sometimes they're indicated on the map, other times it's just potluck if you can find them. Something to give you an area, a certain area that it's going to be in, and, and as I said, it can be quite frustrating actually trying to find the stuff. So to find a tattoo kit, is that indicated? Yeah. Yes. And a new safe house to clear. Do we have a car close by? There's one right there. If the lights are flashing. Seems to be the order of the day. Yep. The little stars on the map indicate co-op play. 
but at the moment we're just exploring the one player options. Okay, that seems to be an awful lot of zombies, so one thing we will do is use our car as a ramp. Kill boss as well. Give us some space so you can claim it. Yep, there we go. There's always a big yellow American school bus, isn't there? Oh, always. Right. Has to be. Um, he doesn't uh, look too friendly. Ah, uh, American football player, they're, they're armoured. Great. <laughs> okay then. Do we have a shotgun? No, we don't. So. No, my katana, boy. What do you think of a katana, boy? That's right here. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Shotgun. Never fails. Oh, did any good oh uh, didn't it fail there? Come on, shorty. Okay, what is this on the table? Stun rod? Any use to us? Yeah. This is the first time I've seen a new sort of character model being introduced. The fireman just appeared. Remember? Yep. You know, I, I can't work out if this is linked to the story. Because you're doing a story. And I was counted down a... You know dead yet? There we go. Ah, that was a bit... That was a bit hairy. We could have happened with the dictionary. Or some chemicals. Okay, so we are looking for a tattoo kit. Yeah. Could be in the back, we'll be in the back room yet. Okay, enough. We're not gonna find an LMG anytime soon. If we do, I'm sure we can find a teddy bear. Clear some of this junk loot. Here's another dude. Yep. The quick time events are fairly wasted. You've only really got three options. The regular zombies, most likely it'll be B. If they get you down on the ground, it'll be a Y. Oh, spiffing. Awesome. A hockey stick. Okay, guys. That gives you a good impression of what Dead Rising has to offer. Chaos, lots of easy zombie killing, not a lot of stress, not a lot of pressure, as you'll see from that. No timer, so we can do them as long as we like. So, If you guys want to see more of this video on the YouTube rather than live streamed, leave a comment and we'll see what we can do. If not, we'll see you during the live stream. Thanks guys, it's been VTO Gaming, and we'll see you in the next video.